Alright, so hello guys, how are you doing? Sorry I'm not uploading recently, but yeah, here I am. So today I'm going to be talking about the plasma drama and what happened exactly, because I was involved in the stuff that happened, and I'll be exposing his new plans and what he's trying to do right now. Just a reminder, everything that I say right now is the complete truth. You can ask anyone involved in this, like Plasmic staff members, Onyx, Bari, etc. Alright, all this started on the 2nd of February. It was really a normal normal day on Astro, I was just looking around until I came across a ticket made by a Discord named Beckler on the Astro Discord server. So I went to check it out and the first thing that I saw on that ticket was your staff are betraying you. In full caps referring to Astro staff betraying Astro client. So I closed the ticket and private messaged Beckler and asked him to tell me who were the staff and developers who did it. But he replied with if I say Plasma will never trust me. And then he sent a video and a screenshot of a cracked Astro launcher and a client slash launcher called Slova. And he said, the code is in someone's hands and they are selling it to make recreations. And he said that some Astro staff are even plotting to nuke the server to kill it forever. So I was just thinking about what to do because the owners, Barry and Nathan, were not online at the time. So I just messaged, messaged um, a motivation and admin at the time before he resigned because he was trusted and someone who I was friends with. So after I told him and I was waiting for him to reply, I went and offered Beckler money to for him to rat the people out because I wanted to like save Astral. But he said he would get demoted from Plasmic Client Discord if he ratted. And after that I was a little suspicious because why would he get demoted from Plasmic when it is over Astral? Because Astro and Plasmic did not have any beef or affiliation whatsoever. He said that he got the info from Plasma, who's well known for being a liar and basically a bad guy in general. Plasma was also permanently banned from the Astro Discord server for having 16 warnings, and one of the core cool reasons of him getting banned was him doxing the owner of Astro Client, aka Nathan, and he changed his profile picture on Discord as Nathan's IRL face and was spreading his IRL name. His Discord account also got terminated because of this. Plasma has killed clients such as Life slash Azura Client, and when I say kill, I mean he spread around false information about the client and grew a bad reputation about it. He raided their Discord three times as well. Overall, he made the client dead. Exactly what he tried to do to Astral. Anyways, back to the topic. After he said that Plasma was the one that told himself, we convinced him to tell us who they were, the staff were betraying. And well, because we did not have time and we had to act fast, so we banned some and demoted some. But then he mentioned Bionic and said that he's the one cracking the launcher, so of course we were furious because we thought he legit took the launcher and changed the name and, you know, made it as his own. But turns out he took the old launcher and remade it. Anyway, after that, Plasma was just spreading false rumors as usual about Astro. And he legit had a group chat called Project Kill Astro. And he had hackers and popular developers in it. And it was made by him. I have tried to confront him uh, about it, but he would not listen. Plasma was and still is the main person who wants to kill Astro. He acts like the victim and if something bad happens, blames it on others like Beast. And Beast is Plasma's friend. Plasma just wants to kill clients who are better than him rather than work. On improving his client, he planned the astral attack. He was the main person that he got like got base to do the work for him. So he doesn't seem like the bad guy after the attack and all the token grabbing and people getting hacked. Staff started investigating and have made the conclusion that Plasma was the one behind all this. But to this day, he is denying these allegations. Even with enough proof to show that he was the one after all this. The Plasmic staff members and Onyx, the person who made almost the entire client, decided to fire Plasma and make Plasmic client into Onyx client. That's when Plasma made a group chat with the Plasmic client staff members apologizing and asking them to nuke the server if they can. But they didn't. After that, he faked being hacked and on that day we found out that Beckler was Plasma all along and he was lying about token grabbing Beckler to steal his account. So that proves that he is a liar and a faker. Later on, he just leaves the community to start maining Roblox. But just about a week ago, he started attacking Onyx Line for apparently being a token grabber. But it is not a token grabber. 
and he's doing this thing that he did with Astro all over again. But at Onyx. So do not worry, Onyx line is completely safe for now. And he even said he wants to kill uh, Astral to kill Onyx when Astral and Onyx have no beef at all and are cool with each other. And he's trying to take down Onyx line. So now the only thing that Onyx line should do is be careful and not let anyone update anything in the launcher slash DLL's code. We do not want the same thing that happened to Astral happening to Onyx line. And the guy, Hans, who hacked some people, or attempted to hack people around a week ago, was according to Plasma, Iceberg's owner, which I do not believe, because I tried to find out what it was, and no one knew, and I tried to find it on GitHub, and nothing showed up, and people close to him told me that he was Hans. Forgot to mention, Plasma wants to come back to the community with Plasma Client, developed by Plasma and some other devs. And he wants to expose Onyx line with no solid proof. So this is why I made this video. And this time I do not want this guy back in this community. He does not deserve to be in this. After every everything that he has done. And who knows what he will put in the Plasmic client. He's making so be aware. And remember those videos he made about Astro. Yeah all of them are basically lies. Like the one where he said Bari is underage. Well, I know for a fact that is not true because I've been friends with Barry for almost a year. And he is 14, not 12. And the Onyx line Discord server just got self-botted yesterday. And the message was the Onyx, that Onyx is the one who talking logged the thing. And he's the guy who is self-botting the server. When it's Plasma, and why will Onyx self-bot his own server? And the account was new, like, bro, what kind of logic is that? He has been threatening Onyx line too. And to these white YouTubers who are trying to expose Onyx, everything Plasma told you is a lie. And he is jealous of Onyx taking taking Plasma and making it into Onyx line. So he is doing this thing he did to Astro but to Onyx. And a message to the big man himself, Patar HD. If you're friends with this guy with this clown, I don't know, but he's messed up so I suggest that you don't talk to him to be honest. He would just tell you lies. And before I end this video, I want to ask Plasma one question. The question is, what is your method, bro? Thank you guys for watching. Like and sub. And yeah, see ya.